Let's take a closer look at Ubrelvi on this special edition of the Headache Channel. Welcome back to the Headache Channel. I'm Dr. Alexander Krobe. I'm a full-time board-certified headache medicine doctor, and I've helped thousands of people living with headache live better. In this special edition, we will be talking about Ubrelvi. What makes it special, what it does, how it works, how to take it, what to watch out for, how to get it, and if you stick around to the end of this video, I will give you the fastest way to save money on Ubrelvi. Before we go on, I'd like to take a moment to thank those of you who have already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now by clicking the subscription button down there, or you can click the Headache Channel logo over there. Here's what makes Ubrelvi special. It's the very first example of a brand new class of migraine treatments called the G-Pants. For the first time in my career as a headache doctor, I have something to offer people for the acute treatment of migraine. That's not a triptan. The first triptan, injectable sumatriptan, came out in the early 1990s. And yes, there are now different triptans and different forms of triptans, but they're still all triptans. Triptans have helped a lot of people but they haven't helped everyone. First, there's the people who have been told they can't take a triptan because of a history of or risk factors for heart disease or stroke. Then there's the people who can't stand triptans because of side effects like chest pressure, jaw tightness, sleepiness, nausea, or dizziness. Then there's all of the people for whom triptans just don't work or don't work well enough to let them get back to doing the things that they need to be doing. To get past the shortcomings of triptans, people have been leaving my office with not just a prescription for the triptan, but a medicine like metoclopramide for nausea, and an NSAID like naproxen for all the other symptoms. And they're told, take these three pills at the earliest sign of a headache, and if you need to, repeat them in a couple of hours. When that doesn't work, some people resort to medications containing butalbital or opioids, which have long-term consequences for people with migraine, including chronic migraine and medication overuse headache. Compare that situation with how things could look on Ubrelvi. You take one pill of Ubrelvi, and it starts to work within 15 minutes. Within two hours, you get significant pain relief, and by four hours, not only do you get pain relief, but 70% of people get complete elimination of their migraine pain along with the other disabling symptoms of migraine like nausea, sensitivity to light, and sensitivity to noise. By eight hours, over 80% of people have complete elimination of their migraine symptoms. So how does Ubrelvi work? Well, during a migraine attack, a chemical signal called CGRP binds to receptors, almost like a hand on the dial of an amplifier. CGRP turns up the amplification of migraine pain pathways. Ubrelvi works by blocking CGRP so the migraine just fades away and dies. Here's how to take Ubrelvi. Ubrelvi comes as 50 or 100 milligram pills, each individually wrapped in an on-the-go pack like this one. To open the package, all you have to do is find the corner with the hole in it, make a fold halfway through the hole, creating a notch, and then just tear at the notch. Take a single pill of Ubrelvi, either 50 or 100 milligrams, as early in your migraine as you can. You can take it with or without food, and you can take it with most migraine prevention medicines and most migraine acute treatments. If you need to, you can repeat a dose of Ubrelvi, either 50 or 100 milligrams, two hours later. For most people, the maximum daily dose of Ubrelvi is 200 milligrams, and you can take Ubrelvi up to eight days a month. Here's what to watch out for with Ubrelvi. First, things that affect Ubrelvi levels in your body. These things interact with an enzyme called cytochrome P450, or CYP. Cytochrome P450 is like the drain in the bottom of the sink that lets the water out when you're done with it. Things that slow or block cytochrome P450 can lead to an overflow of Ubrelvi and may lead to unwanted effects. The medicines ketoconazole, itraconazole, and clarithromycin completely block cytochrome P450, so you shouldn't take these medicines if you take Ubrelvi. These six things reduce the activity of cytochrome P450, so talk to your doctor about a reduced dose of Ubrelvi. There are two important things to call out here. One is verapamil, which is a common migraine prevention drug, and another is grapefruit juice, which is a common breakfast drink. The second thing to watch out for with Ubrelvi is pregnancy and breastfeeding. If you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant or if you're breastfeeding, you should talk to your doctor about Ubrelvi. 
The safety of Ubrelvi in pregnancy and breastfeeding in human moms and babies is not known. In animal studies, there may have been some harm when pregnant animals were fed high levels of Ubrelvi. Ubrelvi is considered pregnancy category C. The third thing to watch out for with Ubrelvi is if you have severe liver or kidney disease. If you have severe liver or kidney disease, your maximum one-time dose of Ubrelvi is 50 milligrams and the daily maximum is 100 milligrams. And if you're on dialysis, you should talk to your doctor because Ubrelvi is not recommended. Side effects of Ubrelvi are mild and uncommon. Less than 5% of people taking Ubrelvi report side effects, and reported side effects include nausea, sleepiness, and dry mouth. To get Ubrelvi, you'll need a prescription from your doctor. Your doctor will write you for Ubrelvi 50 or 100 milligram pills with a dispense quantity of 10. The wholesale price of Ubrelvi is $850 a pill, and pharmacies add a markup, making the final retail price close to $1,000. If you have commercial insurance, you can get Ubrelvi for $1 a pill if you have a savings card. The savings card looks like this, and you can pick it up from your doctor. Activate it by following the instructions on the card and then take it to your pharmacy. You can also get a savings card by going to the ubrelvi.com website and clicking on the button that says Ubrelvi USAVE. Just follow the instructions and you can activate and print a USAVE card to bring to your pharmacy. But the absolute easiest way to get a Ubrelvi savings card does not involve a savings card at all. All you have to do is text Ubrelvi, that's U-B-R-E-L-V-Y, to 48764. Answer a few prompts and you will get a Ubrelvi savings card on your phone that you can show to your pharmacist. Try it now. Now, Ubrelvi is a brand new medicine, and this kind of savings program is pretty unusual. So it is kind of common that you go to your pharmacy and they are having problems making your savings card work. They may even tell you that your doctor needs to do a prior authorization. But if that happens, please just have the pharmacist call the Ubrelvi concierge line at 844-4-UBRELVI, that's U-B-R-E-L-V-Y, and the concierge will help the pharmacist make your activated card work. Well, that brings us to the end of this special edition of the Headache Channel where we talked about Ubrelvi. I hope you liked this episode. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the Headache Channel by clicking the subscribe button below or the channel logo in the corner of your screen. Your subscription costs you nothing, but it means everything on YouTube because it tells YouTube and the world that headache and people living with headache matter. Please remember that the Headache Channel is for information and entertainment purposes only. It is not medical advice. If you need medical advice, please see your doctor. The Headache Channel publishes new episodes on the first and third Mondays of every month, and we publish special editions whenever it's important. This is one of a series of videos on Ubrelvi. I will post a link to the other videos in the series up here. Until next time, this is Dr. Alexander Krobe. Thank you for watching.